good afternoon uh, welcome to codeacad.com today i will show you how to validate a drop down list in esp.net mvc in this tutorial i will take um, a class in which we can take uh, two properties like a state id and a state name state id for the state id i take uh, integer type and uh, state name use select list okay select list type so first of all require the state id by using the required field validator control given the proper error message that is state uh, error message state required use the component data annotations public int type of the state id is a public property so use get set you can use a prop uh, snippet to directly type a public property and that the state name is type of select list in which we have system.web.mvc namespace so states are considered in it so we have two public property state id and states okay now use a controller to get or you can say put some state names inside the states so uh, we can easily get the all state names in a drop down list on the view section okay so here we use model class the name is uh, uh, the model class is a state model and that is available in web application 7 dot models create a reference of this class that is model if is model dot state states is null then we can put some state names inside the states so model dot states and create a list select a list type so new select list and in which we can take a list of type that is select list items so new list select list item okay select list items create of object of the select list item inside we can take a objects so new select list item new select list items in which we can take two properties uh, text and the value so here we have abc is the state name and the value of the abc is 1 ok similarly for the second select list item copy that and paste it here xyz is second state name and value is 2 and I want to show as a value and the text type so here we have oops in the double quotations use double quotation value comma text in the view sections always remember that the first uh, thing is considered as value and second is text in the written sections I will send to view a model type so send a model to the view before adding a view must to build of your project 
okay so now add a new view for the index method which have a single model okay a template is empty and the model class is state model so state model is here yeah and the data context class is nothing so you can use any other we have it but not so given a proper error message regarding this if you select uh, a context class because in this uh, session we have not used a uh, context class so given proper message so remove it here and use MT class okay that's fine so here we have web application 7 dot models dot state model so use the state names and proper validations so using HTML dot begin form and design a simple form So first use a label and also use the validation summary HTML dot uh, validation summary HTML dot uh, label in a label you can use select uh, state names so state names at the rate of HTML dot drop down list for for the lambda expression oops drop down list for use a lambda expression here C lambda C dot state uh, the first field is represent to value so here we use state ID and the second field is represent to state name so state states okay that's fine and the last word is the primary index number that is zero index number please select after that you can use a validations so at the rate dot html dot validation message validation message if you not select any one items from the drop down list so state is required okay now use a simple button control just after this input type submit and value is also submit okay now run this code and check it on your browser it's just too much simple code mm, I have to give you and if you like it then please share my code on your Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn profile also subscribe my channel for learn ASP.NET MVC for your future because I will give you a better video tutorials related to MVC ASP.NET MVC learn many more things about ASP.NET MVC so thank you thank you very much again for watching my video tutorial and subscribe my channels so let's see your output here is here it's taking much time I know but your result is soon appear uh now your result is here 
only one two seconds okay that's is there please select submit button yes state is required 